Michael and Ray are on their dream vacation. Tie, yellow ribbon, around the old oak tree. Come on, tie, wave your hands. Ah. Ray. You can sit. Out, out, no. out, aim out, aim out. Until a right turn lands them in the wrong hood. Huh? And their trip to paradise. You call this a nice vacation? Goes straight. I'm out of here. To hell. And I'm cowboy, so your girlfriend had a cute butt. What? what? Watch out! I need a phone. Now, a guy in the wrong place. What you need, Alfie? Are you Puff Daddy? Ah! At the wrong time. No way more! Has got to find the right way. I am in the twilight zone. To get away. We've got you surrounded, so you might just as well give up. Make him take those beds off. I don't want no surprises. That's a surprise. Oh, no, no. This is getting good. But for a guy just trying to get back to his girl. He said he's being held hostage. What? It's going to be a long day. My name is Mike Dawson. Are you that boxer? I lost a lot of weight now, and I'm a vegetarian. Jamie Foxx. Give it to them, my back. And Nia Long. We could just talk for hours and hours about everything. She would talk for hours about nothing. But I didn't mind listening. I've been robbed, kidnapped, shot at. I could have stayed in Chicago for this. Are held up. This is Puff Daddy. Puffy is rough. He is tough, and he will kick your Waterman, a.k.a. DJ Sue, a.k.a. I made your girl come by looking at her, a.k.a. that short nigga with the good-looking hair, a.k.a. Michael Jackson's doppelganger, a.k.a. a.k.a. Jim Jones. That's why the last one. But here he is, ladies and gentlemen, proudly giving us a bad film, a bad example of cinema, Ellis. Please, tell us all about the opus that we are about to talk about today. I will do that. But before I do, uh, just know that I am giving you the Craig Mack look when he found out about a second album that was being worked <laughs> on. Of, when you, the when look you of call, confusion. <laughs> when, you you call, it, you, when you call me Jim Jones, I literally had that look like... What? <laughs> Am I Jim Jones? <laughs> Shit! Whoa, 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 whoa! Is this kill everybody with Kool Aid, Jim Jones, or we need a plan B, Jim Jones? <laughs> yes, that's what I need to know. <laughs> he 
color? Like, which one would you rather have? Oh, uh, the Kool Aid one, man. At least that's. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit. But no. So in 1999, a movie was made. It was filmed. It was financed. It got Jamie Foxx in it. He pretty much had to carry the entire movie by himself. Yes, don't let the movie don't let the movie poster fool you by saying, you know, held up, starring Jamie Foxx and Neil Long. Neil Long isn't in this movie for more than ten minutes. <sighs> you know That's, what? Bro? That is the amount of screen first time off, that she that, had. That was the, uh, the first mistake of director Steve Rash. You limited us to the fineness of Neil Long. It hey, is. Um, um, D. Shaw, Three Black Geeks. Um. Um, CJ of Three Black Geeks, can you tell us who Mr. Rash is? That sounds like a terrible director name and uh, for a terrible director. So, you know how you get directors that make amazing movies? Mm-hmm. 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 We call this, Kubrick. Well, this is a director that did sequels to amazing movies that no one cared about. The following sequels <laughs> are... American Pie presents Bandcamp, <laughs> and the like, and Bring It On, All or Nothing, as well as Bring It On, In It to Win It. With 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 two. I saw Bring It On, In It to Win It. Trust me, no one really won it. Or oh, <laughs> oh, both Bring It Ons that had the token black chicks, because of course you you know you, you need a token black chick in now, each one. You now you want to know what's really funny is that. The, that the four movies that he's best known for was was like one from the late seventies, another one from the early eighties, and the two Bring It On movies. No, no, sir. He did Eddie. That is a very yeah. He did he did Eddie, but the and son, and son in law, sir. I know he did son in law. Pay homage to Paulie Shore, sir. Pay homage. I to know. Sure. Nobody. You know what, Chris? You're the only person that three black geeks that want to pay Paulie anything. Cause I go always go back to the Joe Rogan show where he it, 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 he opened up very much so of like he, it, it's just he always thought back to the, that time in the nineties where he was the guy and stuff and it just you know he was like it's just sad I was the guy and you know blah 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 happened and it's like shit fuck don't do that don't do that Chris because Paul look we all have our moments with Paulie Shore we really do. But let's just be real. He didn't evolve after, like, you know, age 24. Come on, so dude. You didn't like that? Ju- oh, so you didn't want that? <laughs> look, 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 look. Look, look. All that, all that Stoner Ridge and that Cali Talk was cool and Encino Man. But guess what? Dark Knight just came out and you're still doing that shit, nigga. So what the fuck you doing? What are you doing, cuz? Well, <laughs> well, hold on. I oh, tell shit, you. he was great in Goofy Movie. Yay! Well, no, see, I can oh, tell you. Oh, I can tell you the thing that. First of all, I can tell you the other thing that he was good in. See, he was good at playing the... <laughs> he was good at playing, like, the guy that was tied up in an, like, an Italian mobster's car in, in, the, in the wash. That's about it. I remember that. Yeah, I forgot about that. But 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 but, but, <laughs> but Eris, I'm mad that you missed out on Steve Rash, illustrious sequel to Road Trip. Road Trip. Beer I was pong, just sir. about to mention. No, see, I was just about to mention that y'all just got caught up in the other stuff. You know, yeah, my, my bad. Sorry, sorry. I'm so bad. yeah, Road Trip Beer Pong. And also, I'm just mad that somebody just why why we you doing a sequel why, to Road Trip? You know trip? why white white frat boys? That's why. You know what? You, I bl- you know what? No, 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 no. Pong, man. Here's, here's a kicker, man. I blame myself a little bit because I love the first Road Trip movie, and I was a Tom Green fan. Oh, I love so that. So, so that's probably I, I blame myself. No, for don't that. get mad. Don't get mad at yourself, Chris, because the first Road Trip is special to a lot of people, and even for a lot of people, uh, Road Trip, your, the Euro Trip one. Euro Trip was lot, fucking hilarious, man. Yeah, Euro Trip. I didn't like was it. I didn't like it as fun. much as the first one. I'll be, I will admit that. I just didn't like it as much as the first one. But that's a good movie too. But beer pong. Now you're just being lazy. <laughs> well, just as lazy as them bringing back DJ Qualls for it, because you know DJ Qualls needs the money. Oh man, let's make sure we get the biggest black girl for him to bang. Well, hey, that, black, hey, that black black girl was a little was fine. It's a shit too. So you know, just. Put that out there. R.I.P. to her. Let's, 
Let's uh, but, the guy. I'm gonna uh, that out because I didn't know she died. Chris. She did die. Like, <laughs> sorry, sorry. My wow. Dad. She well, died. Yeah, yeah, she died. Ow. I didn't even like the bitch like that, but ow. <laughs> That's just horrible, guys. I look, know, I know. I didn't know nothing about her. <laughs> look, I know what's happening. I know what's going on. Yes, Chris. I mean, look, Chris. I know you picked a bad movie, which. Okay, bad in terms of performance. Like, performance at the box office, bad. Otherwise, it's an average movie. But no, what I have picked is essentially a bad movie, and I know that we are trying our best to avoid it like the plague, but let's let's just go ahead and rip take a bite into off. this. That's yeah, true, that's true. No, but Eric, let's, Eric. no, please, please, gentlemen, we need to rip the Band-Aid off and take a bite of this shit sandwich. Yes, yes, we do, Eris. And you know, what the, you know, when we're talking about shit sandwiches, you know what I like? I like a good Reuben. Reuben's takes <laughs> tastes pretty damn good. I also like um, the Black Forest ham. Um, I, I wish there was like a veggie one for me because I'm trying to really watch my weight. So, you know, there are different sandwiches of all different kinds. Uh, of course, what's uh-huh. your favorite sandwich? Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. D, well, what's I see your favorite what you're doing. favorite sandwich, Chris? D, D, I see what you're doing. Stop it. Look. What's your favorite? <laughs> Look. Eric, Eric, Eric. Get the map, Scott! <laughs> no, Get no, the no. map, Scott! No, I'm not getting any maps. First of all, like, first of all, did you like the use of, of, of Jake Busey? You know what I also like about Jake Busey? His dad, Gary Busey. I don't even know. I can talk about Gary Busey all the time. Like this one time he was in Grenada, right? It was him. Oh, this God. Midget, what did I do? All what did I do? See, see, what did see I this do? is your fault, sir. You, this is your fault for putting that in there. And all I'm Look, saying is this. All I'm saying is when you put Jake Busey in the movie, you're getting a bit role for him in this movie. You ain't really getting much, and you're also getting the teeth. Really that's, get, uh, that's, 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 that's part of the Busey thing. You get the teeth. First of all, that's part of the Busey charm, man. You only no, get bit roles. No. And you know what else is good no, in bits? Reese's Bits. Yeah, Reese's Bits. Available first at your 7 First of all, let's stop this, please. For CJ, can you really say that his role in this movie was really a bit part? I mean, the whole movie took place inside of a convenience store. They didn't they go had to anywhere. Save money on the budget, which was only like eight million dollars, and a good chunk of that went to fucking. Jimmy no, Fox no, no. You know, reasons. no, no, no. I got it for you, Eris. You know who had a bit role in this? Gary Owen had a bit role. At yeah, least did. Jake got to talk. Yeah, this is true. Gary Owen, Gary Owen's role was real short. Oh, this is early, uh, early Gary Owens, wasn't it? Like when he was on Comic yeah. View, Gary Owens. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And oh, you want to know who else's role was really short too? And we lost the potential of her fineness, Rosalind Sanchez. Yo, yo, you want to? No, real talk. When I saw Rosalind show, I like, hey, hi, Rosalind, how you doing? I'm glad you're going to be in this movie, and then in Rush Hour, and then I'm not going to see you for a chunk, and then you're going to show back up again looking um, fine and shit. I do have to say, what did make me laugh was finding out that this was her second movie. I know, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like the J-Lo First film earning. A- it's kind of funny, though, that I thought, it's kind of funny that Rosalind, it didn't really strike it as big as I thought she would, because I remember seeing her in Rush Hour, when she was in Rush Hour 2, no bullshit. I was like, everybody's like, Eva Longoria, fuck all that. Who's that shit? <laughs> exactly. It's like, look, <laughs> Rosalind Sanchez and Eva Longoria, you got to, like, sit there and really, like, play the, play the dice of, like, all right, who would I, I really... Like, I didn't like... I know a lot of people... I know a lot of dudes that stay in the shit for a lot of Eva Longoria, but I never liked her. I, I just did it. I, I really did. I don't know why, but, you know, I, 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 feel, feel that... I feel there's, like, a knife fight between all the hot Latina chicks in Hollywood at this point. I mean, and she's, I, be, look, I mean, look, look. I mean, I mean, look, she's in Grand Hotel right now, and she's going to be in the Hallmark Channel TV movie. Uh, Rosalind Sanchez oh, oh, all the look, Hallmark so Channel we're using, So hold on, Chris, Eris, if we're using movies and stuff you're doing as of uh, as of ammunition, you know, she's only going to make it to like the second or third round, right? You know, she ain't going to. <laughs> Nia Long had a bit of a weird career path, so to speak, because it's like. It felt like for a good chunk of the 90s, she was in a lot of black v black movies. And then, like, after Held Up, she ended up, like, she was doing some black movies. But then it was like, hey, we're going to put you as, like, the one black chick against white people. Are you fine with that, Nia? Yeah, sure. Why not? Fuck it. No, what Nia really did was, it was, it for her, and it still is now, she's more television than she is movies. Yeah. She just wanted television a lot more, and she got on. I think it was and, um, not Chicago, not Chicago Fire, um, CSI, not Chicago. It's, Hope. It's, it's, it's it was, CIS. 
It wasn't in CIS. It was no, right she, after this movie. Actually, it is in CIS. No, 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 no. It was, no, 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 no. Third, third watch. Third watch. Thank you. That's what I meant. That's what I was trying to think yeah, of. Third watch. My bad. Third yeah. watch. Yeah. 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 She ended up doing that. She was on there for a good minute, and I remember. T- <laughs> <laughs> Teenage D not being mad. I can't jerk off to her in a movie. Well, she on TV. Her fine ass need to be in a movie. Exactly. <laughs> I don't watch it. You do it. <laughs> we were all like, Yo, well, this is. I will say this. This right here was Nia Long plucked out during one of her very very cute phases, man. Because I don't know. Because I know y'all like me, especially this, especially the, uh, this dude beside me, Mr. Waterman. I know y'all like me. The whole time y'all was looking at Nia in this movie, were y'all doing this? Come on, Titty. Look, Come on. I'm gonna tell you this. I'm gonna be uh, very, sadly. I'm, I'm, uh, no, I'll go ahead and answer that. Sadly, no, because really? no. And you want to know how I? You want to know how I know uh, that I wasn't feeling like that? Because given the tone, the pace, uh, given the tone and the pacing of this movie, I'm like, you're only going to be here for under 15 minutes, aren't you? Yeah. But also, yeah, too, I, as, as somebody. It, it, that, it, 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 however, however, jumping, you know, jumping off. To, I mean, jumping off of this movie like for a hot second, she is going mean, to. She's actually in 47 meters down uncaged. Yeah, as a mom. Really? She's probably gonna be a mom or something. She's a mom to one of the kids Fine, that's yeah, mixed mom. and shit. But Look, so- oh yeah, you know they're gonna be mixed too. You know somebody got mad. You know people were shocked when I said that the other day, Chris. What? When I told her, when I said like that's the rule in Hollywood. If you're a young black actress that looks good and you're kind of a twinge light, one or two things are gonna happen to you. One, your boyfriend is white, or two, your dad's white. Everybody like. Yo, you're right. Like, how did y'all not fucking know this? But see, here's the thing. If we're keeping it on with Held Up, though, I was one of those people that was kind of like Hold On Diddy because going in BAM territory with the grotesque here and stuff, but fuck it, I don't care. Um, <laughs> the grotesque. Not grotesque. Not grotesque. Um, Sir, Eric, Chris, me and Eris do not make grotesque jokes. We make jokes about titties and pussies and anime <laughs> vaginas. <laughs> Okay, classy thing. Beautifully oh, okay. animated. I'm at keep that. It. Beautifully I'm, I'm, animated. I'm, 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 also, we talk about girls who dry hump and bounce their breasts all the time in softcore porn. If you're going to use my name, use it correctly, sir. Okay, I'll keep it bam classy then. Um, when she rolled up on fucking Tay Diggs and Best Man with that lingerie on, saying I'm horny and all that stuff after he kept basically fucking cock teasing her and shit, I was like. That yeah. wasn't a cock. No, he didn't get no, 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 no. Let's get it right. He didn't cock teaser. It was just me, me realizing. Oh my God, I'm a business. I'm a black woman that has all this power and all this responsibility. I didn't get fucked in like ten. Wow, a year. Okay, yeah. okay. Yeah. Where he at? <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, and also too, I was one of the people that's like, look, there are certain there are certain women that can pull off the short hair look. Her and Holly Berry were able to pull that off, and I was kind of missing that and held I felt up. That Nia, I, I will be. I will admit, you know, at Jada least at Pink the time. I, yeah, Jada, 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 Jada Pink Jada. was better to me. Jada, Jada was better to me. Angela Bassett did it better to me because it's just this is just a personal day. I didn't. I don't like Nia with short hair. Really? I I never did. I, wow. I'm not a fan of it. Shut I'm not her. a fan of it. Not for her. Not for her. There are some black girls that can do the pixie hair looks. Not not her. Not her. Fuck. Loretta Devine had a better fade than her, in my opinion. See, <laughs> I don't. Better I'm, better I'm sorry, dog. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, I may sound crazy as hell because I know that one nigga. Because I swear to God, there's something about black dude, about niggas who stand for fucking Nia Long. Oh my God. How the hell you don't like that nigga? Like, because I don't. You a faggot nigga. Like, I, what, dog, what? I just don't like her short. <laughs> Yo, I used to get that all the time, man. I remember getting. I remember getting called to uh, call that when I said I didn't like Beyonce and something, some Destiny's Child thing, and it was like, oh man, Beyonce fine. Shit, I'm like, nah, not that really. Man, you gay nigga? Like what? Uh, let's let's be real about this. That, <laughs> was, that, was, that, that, that was that was that was that was high school, middle school in a nutshell. If you didn't like a chick, you gay. Just off the fuck. Oh, gay, you gay, <laughs> like, you what? Because <laughs> I don't like this chick. Hate- what? <laughs> Like now, here's the funny thing. Here's the funny thing. Her short hair and best man, I didn't like. Her short hair and Friday, 
that was just hood girl that lived right beside exactly, you looking dude. high. Exactly. And I, yeah, first, I, of all, I, first of all, like first, like first of all, that was a bob that she was rocking in that one. Hey, yeah, hey, yeah. But also too, I that have, one, yeah, hey, that one, hey, yeah. Look, hey, I have a soft spot for the hood chick, so yeah, that's probably where it came from on that one in Friday. So you know, just, <laughs> no. First of all, her role in Friday, she was good girl from the hood. Still, she was good girl. Good girl. She was good girl from the hood. Meaning that she had a job and. Let's just be real. This is the only place I can afford. I kind of <laughs> like the area. So, no, no, no. Because no, according, no, hold on. Because according to Dana in that movie, her defining character trait was she about to graduate. She ain't got time to be messing with you. Graduate, <laughs> what, graduate and work a call center job. Hey, you know, Chris, Chris, come here, come here, come here. I'm about to slap you. No, don't run away. Come here. <laughs> 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 but no, like, like, but no, but guys, really though. Hey, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, nigga. Did you really? Say- <laughs> yeah, I mean, just, <laughs> just her and Taraji, look, That would have been great if she did work her, uh, a call center job, so I could connect Friday to Baby Boy. Don't, don't you <laughs> dare just, fucking connect a better movie than that well, fucking movie. Don't you dare. I man. will. Come on, nigga. They both in that late. They do. It's doing all the work for all me, right, nigga. Yeah, fair. I need just one connection. That's what I'm saying. Both of that light. What to you which I'm to still, do? to which I'm still looking at you, D. Like, so you mean to tell me Jody couldn't call up fucking Ice Cube for help? The fuck is up with that? <laughs> First off, Jody didn't know that nigga, and second of all, if you timeline right, he was a rat show cookamonga, and he couldn't <laughs> <laughs> for like a week. When, like when everything that a took week, place, nigga, fr- that dude was gone for two days. No, a day. No, you, you're right. Like barely two days. It was gone for barely two days when everything that happened in Baby Boy took place in the span of what? A, week, a month? Two weeks. A month and a half. <laughs> <laughs> but like, but can like, but can we mention the fact that this movie took place all in one spot? Was that a convenience yeah, store? A dusty ass, you know, convenient. Little, a convenience store, not even a Seven Eleven, just a convenience store that I've been into. It's one of those. And look, I, I like travel, one of those I, last convenience I'm, stores for like and, sixty and, miles. And, and look, here's the thing: folks think I'm bullshitting, but those convenience stores exist. I drove cross country from California back to here. Oh, they fucking exist out in the middle of fucking nowhere, and I'm like, dog, how do you do it? How do you work out here in the middle because of the Those convenience stores are in between two towns that are 12 miles apart. <laughs> to 12? Try 20 miles apart. I know 20 miles apart. I'm Much like you, Chris. Look, dude, I'm being generous. <laughs> yeah, all right. Fair enough. Fair enough. Fair enough. You're right. Because I've been, like, I know what you're talking about. Because I've been there uh, when I went, when me and my folks went through, my, uh, through the Mojave Desert when we drove through there. Um, Yeah. It's like about every. Whoo! About every thirty minutes, you finally hitting civilization. You're like, oh my god, thank you. <laughs> Don't run out of gas <laughs> between that spot either. You're fucked. <laughs> god, hate to be that nigga that's like two miles away from the gas station. You run out of gas. That's got to be oh, hell. Oh, oh, people think, oh, two miles ain't that bad. Yeah, just like how two miles country miles is fucking long. Two miles in a goddamn desert is long as shit. No, two. Yo, I, <laughs> no, make it even better. Two miles. You uh, two miles. You scaled at like like Daniel Stern and Bushwhack. Ah, that's only this much. Exactly. <laughs> this little. Yo, yo, my mom. My mom famously um my, was driving out driving with my dad out to um Kansas, and everything got got flat on her by the time they got to like Missouri or some shit like that, and it was just nothing, like nothing. Like nothing on the road, and my mom pulls immediately over, slaps my dad awake, and says, "You drive." And my my dad's like, "Why? They ain't nothing here." My mom would have killed my dad <laughs> if they went through the death. <laughs> Dude, here's the thing, though, too. Like like you said, there in this whole thing took place in a fucking convenience store. And shout outs to Ian Long's wig. I think that was a wig. I can't tell. That was a wig. Okay, it was a wig. That was a wig. Didn't that that mad D. She was cute. Yeah, she was cute. She was cute with the long hair. Because I think that was the one thing watching this movie is that, like, you get kind of thrown back to this is when Nia Long had that wig, long hair. And you're like, hold up. Didn't I just see you with short hair, like, a couple months ago in Best Man? What the fuck's going on here? Yeah. <laughs> so, so it's like it throws you off, first off. And, and, and second off, it's like her and Jamie Foxx are a married couple. And 
Jamie, being the irresponsible man that he is, decides to, instead of taking the money that they set aside for a home, he buys a fucking old school classic vehicle like a dumbass. Dude, he spent baker. first. Yeah, I was gonna say he he spent fifteen grand on an old on a vintage Studebaker. D's gonna be real. How much? Fifteen grand. That, that and it Hold runs. On. Wait, wait, wait. And it 18? runs. Hold mm-hmm. on. Eighteen, eighteen grand, and it's managed grand. to talk. Grand. No, 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 no. See, it was actually eighteen grand, but he talked him down to fifteen. Ah. Yeah, you did. You did because at first, like you just said, you got for five thousand dollars, and. Dog, and they just and, and she found out. He's like, he's like, yeah. He probably didn't give it no for ten. You're like, wait a minute, ten? Did you give him ten thousand? Nah, no, baby, I ain't giving ten thousand dollars. Let, let me see the like, check. Let me see the check. She was like fifteen. Well, yeah, I mean, and we have not talked about Jamie. We're getting to him real quick, but but Jamie did this. His funny shit was like, nah, man. <laughs> <laughs> It's like you gotta That's mumble your way fun. through it just so you can just like not say it the whole way and shit. Yeah. And look now, now real talk, Chris. Uh, you and I are old school. We're we like vintage cars. Chris does too. You know, we all like it. Fifteen G's. That's. That's actually not bad, to be honest nope, with you. For honest, classic, you um, that's what I was gonna say. Fifteen thousand for a classic. I mean, a true classic, where you know for a fact that you. Cannot drive that car everywhere. That is one of those. That's one of those. It's a nice day outside. There's not a drop of rain in sight. One of them type of cars. I'm, Don't let uh, nothing I'm, happen to I'm it. I'm gonna be real too. Um, I just came from a car show like about a month ago, and if you're paying 15 grand, number one for a car like that, number one that's a steal. But also too, the uh-huh. downside is you hope that it's in good condition. That's the other aspect yeah. of it. Because so, a lot of guys will will sell you these, these cars in whatever condition it is. And the, and the thing is, and Chris, you know about this too, a lot of these are show cars. They're mm-hmm. not meant for the road. Oh, They're yeah. not meant for the road. So even if you do drive them, you're not going to drive them far, brother. you really not. Mm-hmm. They're not made for you to drive it far. Yeah. So it's just kind of weird. It's funny. You say, it, D, it is so funny that you say that because, again, this is just a discussion. We're not going bit by bit. But going back to what you just said, they're not meant for driving far. Yeah. Make sure you tell that to future Andy Milanakis over here who Wait, rides out in his car. <laughs> He's like, yeah, no. for fifty bucks. He's like, hey, for fifty bucks, I can fix your car. Cause I can get your keys out. Just, you know, I need a hanger. I, I can't get in without a hanger. I'm like, really, Jamie? You, I, I, look, I understand the situation. You know, like, look, you're feeling frustrated. Your girl just, like, just rolled out on you. She decided to roll with, uh, like, with cut, like, with the countryside boys, and <laughs> just to go to the airport and all that, and. The least, the, the last thing you want to do is get some gas in the car and just try to go after her. And you trusting Andy over here with access to the car? I mean, Dude. I mean, can I be real about this too? His character is a fucking businessman. He already fucked up by paying fifteen grand for a goddamn Studebaker that you don't know that is going to make you <laughs> that's going to get you back to Chicago anyway. Also. <laughs> Uh, rewind this real quick, Eris. Mm-hmm. When Nia got on that fucking truck with all those cowboys, here's me. I've seen pornos that open up like this: <laughs> black girl in a sundress, white guys with cowboy hats. I know exactly where this is going. I mean, first of <laughs> all, if I, there, Eris, if I ain't mistaken, Misty Stone was in a movie like this. Oh, you know she was. Now, oh, not, was missing. hold on, hold on. Not counting the, not counting the fact that, uh, that the, or not counting the fact that the two guys from Deliverance was driving the truck. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> Look, Harris, Harris, you and I watched porn, porn enough to know this fact. Those two guys from Deliverance and the truck, you know, the <laughs> looking guys. Yeah, they got the biggest dicks. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. It's always the ugly ones. <laughs> Yo, shout out to Missy Stone, a black, a black woman who said, "Oh, I love white boys." But then when they ask her the question, "Oh no, I take a nigga." <laughs> I mean, look, hey, I was like, hey. considering that Misty, no, hold on, considering that if that situation did happen to run into Misty Stone, she'd be standing there looking at it like she's standing there looking at like contemplating life choices. 
<laughs> Actually, no, nah, this is Misty Stone. <laughs> Is she a G? She's baby hand rubbing. So what we doing? We stopping? <laughs> <laughs> or we just going to do this in a moving truck? Because I did it before in a moving car before. So you're going to have to let me know what we doing. <laughs> Hold on, Harris. Where hard camera at? Right there? Okay, good. <laughs> I mean, this my good side. So, um, y'all, y'all want to talk about Jamie? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hello, oh, Eric. Oh, all right, one more thing, one more joke to Chris. <laughs> Yo, Eric, don't forget. Um, y- you can just come in my face. You can come in my titties. Don't get my hair. Please try to dodge as much as you can. All right, <laughs> all right. We good? To which y'all got to, the rules, to, to, right? To, to, to which I respond to that, D. Uh, I can't make promises on that, sir, ma'am. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, no. Here's her. Um, black dude, get out the scene. You're gonna ruin the whole thing. Yeah, yeah, it's just the white boys in this one. Nigga, I'm trying to get paid, that's why. <laughs> so I can't make promises. I know my demographic. <laughs> <laughs> Jamie looked at her and said, look, Ray, look, black people don't do this, all right? <laughs> that made me laugh. That made me laugh. He was like, he's a whole bunch of white, he's a whole bunch of white boys in cowboy boots and cowboy hats getting in the back of a truck. We don't do that. <laughs> girl, they got spurs. What you say? The whole- girl, they got spurs, and they got spurs on. They ain't thinking about you. <laughs> and the thing, and the thing is, for me, I'm sitting over here looking at Jamie, like, yo, Jamie, 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 stop playing the audience, okay? Stop. I mean, you're I not mean, the audience. I mean, you want to talk about Jamie Fox? Because I mean, might as well. I mean, that's that's Jamie what we're here Fox, for. We have been- <laughs> hey, we talked about Jamie Fox before. And we're gonna say it again. Jamie Fox is. One of those anomalies of guys that can act, but at the same time act, but at the same time underact, and he act at the same time. <laughs> you can say he's a good. And look, at the same time, you can say he's a good singer. Would you buy his album? Yeah, yeah about that, about that, about that one album when the when the hype on him was, was high. The was good. The first one was good. Unpredictable on it. Mm-hmm. Oh, I forgot the name of that album. That was good. The one with alcohol was good. What was it called Unpredictable? Yep. Mm-hmm. God, it was, wasn't it? The the second album was all right too. I thought the second album was all right too. I ain't gonna fake, right? Yeah. Because the hall is still my shit. Amazingly, that that song is still my shit, man. I thought it'd be over that song. Yeah, but I mean, Jamie's the type of person. I think D said it best when he's taking direction from a filmmaker. He shines, whether it's Michael Mann and Collateral, or Quentin and Django. Like they managed, like he, they played to what they. They can get out of out of Jamie, and he shines. I think um, I, I don't know the director for Ray, but he did a good job because he used Jamie's strength to it. Jamie likes to overact, mm-hmm. and him overacting and Ray work because you can have Ray do the head nod shit and all that, and Ray Charles when, when he does the stuttering, Jamie's real good at it. You can understand, no? Till it for Ray. Yeah, he did a good job with him, too, in that one. Like I said, he used Jamie's strength of overacting to make that work, in my opinion. Mm-hmm. Where Because there was a lot of scenes that you kind of had to play it up, especially when he was doing, uh, where he was in the um, bathroom shooting up, and Jamie was, like, over Jamie in it. Mm-hmm. It worked. It actually worked for that scene. So he used a lot of that to, you know, a lot of that to the positive of the movie. Because, because it's kind of funny. Then you get Jarhead where he was overacting. It worked because he was a drill sergeant. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. Kyle, it, it worked. But here's the thing. He was barely in that movie anyway, so you can't even cut. Like, when you mentioned, it was kind of funny. We were talking on our chat. Uh, Christmas is Jarhead, and I'm sitting there trying to remember Jarhead in the first place, right? And when I finally think of it, like, oh, cool. I think he was only in there for like 16 seconds. <laughs> but I mean, yeah, it's he, like- was, he was only in it. The thing, and the funny thing about Jarhead is, like, as a movie, is you know, again, not to divert off, but it's just because I went to the theater to see it. I went to the theater expecting, like, you know, this is gonna be like a big military action movie, and the whole thing. It's, <laughs> you know, what we got out of that? The fucking I sequels got, were though, wouldn't they? <laughs> yeah, the sequels were, but I mean, the initial movie. We what we got was the same thing we got in the first season of The Punisher on Netflix. Yeah, it's basically everybody. It's, it's based on everybody. Book, was, so yeah, yeah, it's definitely based on the book. Everybody was expecting like this super big action flick, and because it came out during the summer. Yeah, I yeah. mean the trailers gave but, off the but, vibe. But it of wasn't one just thing. that. It wasn't just that. Also, it was that at the time, in you know the post nine eleven world, we were used to seeing Americans blow shit up. 
mm-hmm. and just kill the you know explosion. You know, we had a America had a big war war. And I want to say war gasm, but we had a big war hard on at that time. So we were expecting, like I said, this big balling balling ass action movie. And what you end up getting was this movie that was really more cerebral than I think anybody was really playing on the city. You know what I mean? Where it addressed different issues of that soldiers had and all the rest of that. I don't think nobody saw that shit coming. Like, I'm sorry, are you trying to teach us? <laughs> mm-hmm. In this movie, I think you pointed out, it's like Jamie has to, both of y'all actually pointed out, Jamie has to carry this movie amidst the whole thing of him being held up by these criminals in a fucking convenience store and Jamie having to improvise the whole way, essentially. Yeah, and here's the fun thing. At least for me, Eris, and I agree, at the end of the day, it's average. Um, Harmless is... Eh. No, no, see, me. hold on. The, what makes a movie harmless is when... What makes a movie harmless is when there is nothing actually wrong with it. Good but example, some, I, I like, think a good example of that is um, Bushwhack. There's nothing essentially wrong with it. Yeah, It's just that it doesn't work as a movie. You know what I mean? Like, I think it, it, it held up. Oh, yeah, it hurt. It hurt a little bit. It hurt a little bit. It, there's no way you can get around it. But that being said, the movie just, ugh, it stalls out. It, it does meanders. nothing. Like, the premise oh of it. Oh, my God, meanders. I mean, if the premise of it, because for a movie that's 90 minutes, this shit could have easily been like an hour, 15-minute movie. Nigga, you ain't lying. The look when the second the second Sarah Paulson started talking too much, I was like, oh god, she just she just added twelve more it's minutes. Basically, dog, it's basically Jamie figuring out everybody's fucking problems. That's all it is. His character Dude, is literally figuring out even, everybody's problems. It's not even just Jamie. It's everybody figuring out each other's problems yeah. because let's yeah. be re- let's be real. When the like when the botched robbery took like uh, like when the botched robbery took place, what ends up like, what ended up happening? What ended up happening is Chief Lee I mean, the was the chief uh, the, the like the the main sheriff shows up. Then they have to go and break out the FBI handbook on hostage negotiations. I this love it. Thing, you see Gary, you see, you see Jake Busey, Busey in the motherfucking phone booth. Now, I want you to follow my instructions. I am here to help you. <laughs> I mean, the fact that he, I mean, the fact that, you know, the fact that they went by the book with every single thing. They were like, all right, I'm going to need some food and water. I'm going to need this. I'm going to need that. And we're going to need all of this. And will somebody please let me know who's winning the ball game? Oh, yeah. There was a baseball game that Jamie fucked up because his car alarm went off. And, also, and Barry Corbin's team lost. Oh, yeah. And also, <laughs> Jay, also, Neil Long had to take a shit. So, you know, there's that. Yeah, that was that was fun. That was hope a fun she, joke. Oh, she don't think that's the John. It's been backed up for weeks. <laughs> See, it's backed up full of sports equipment. And Nia Long is holding her butthole. Ha, ha, ha. Laugh! Uh, hey, <laughs> yeah, you know who to really elevate that scene? Jeffrey Dean Morgan. Mr. Koye. <laughs> this has been backed up for quite a while. Nah, nah, you got, you're doing the wrong one. <laughs> I hope you ain't going in there. <laughs> yeah, backed up. <laughs> no, all of a sudden, like, sure, we got a problem. Is that that black fella? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, all right, let's go. I really don't even. Jeffrey know. Dean Morgan, let Jeffrey me make, look. Go oh, boy, it, go Jeffrey boy. Dean. Is wait, no, I really mean this. Every time I see him, outside of Walking Dead, every time I see him, because I saw it, because he was most recently in um in um um um, um Supernatural, mm. not too long ago. He came back in that show for one episode. It was actually a really good episode. Um, but him in that one. I was sitting to myself like, Jeffrey, I don't know what happened in the last, well, ever since you got cast to be Negan, but you're too He's cool been... to do anything. You're too <laughs> cool to do anything now, man. It seems like it's all beneath him. I don't understand. It could be the laugh. It could be that rubble five o'clock shadow. could be the fact that, it's going to be honest with you, I'll fuck up if I was a lady. It could be all that. <laughs> I don't know what it is. But this nigga is way too cool for his own fucking good, bro. Oh, man. He would, I, he would have dude. elevated this movie a little bit just because. <laughs> dude, oh if JD... Hold up, hold up, hold up. If JDM was in this... 
first of all, this would be 1999 JDM. Yeah, you know, you know, we all fresh, make fresh face. Don't speak with no kind of gruff in his voice. Yeah, none of that. <laughs> no Negan dip, nothing. Nah. <laughs> Gotta be honest, if the Supernatural was the start of that Negan, Negan voice, it really <laughs> was. The Supernatural is where it started because he had because he kind of like deepened his voice a little bit around that time. Yeah. So yeah. <laughs> Oh my god! I'm, I'm so mad. At, I'm so, I'm so <laughs> mad that that actually became a thing. The Negan dip. <laughs> yeah, Negan dip, nigga. Here's the thing too. It's like in this place, in between this shit happening, Nia Long is basically pouring her heart out to these cowboys in the truck about her relationship problems with with Jamie, and I was just laughing like, so this is a plot point, huh? Look, I will give the movie this. It answered. Uh, I answered the thing for me. I was like, one of y'all niggas better break out some. Sc- what do y'all did. better break? Oh, he's broken skull. He did. He did. And I said to myself, all right, now swallow it instead of chewing it. She did. Yes. They didn't sing correctly. <laughs> also, also, we, also, we get to see Nia Long kind of spread eagle on some hay. Nick, a bit, hey, look, Nick, I don't know. Look, I, I, I thought I was the only pervert in that one. Thank you, Chris. Pound exactly, down. Exactly. There you go. Exactly. That was, that <laughs> was I, I don't know that posture, she, no, again, Chris, I've seen girls in that position before, and there's five white guys around, so I know where this is in there. I mean, I'm just saying, like, yo, she was looking sun-kissed like shit, and I was like, mm, damn. I bet again. one of the white boys over there like this, I like me some Hershey. <laughs> some Hershey. <laughs> Which that could go in so many wrong directions. Uh, yeah, it does. Yes, it does. Thank you, Eris, for knowing, having extensive knowledge and scat porno. Thank you for that. <laughs> also, we have to say a big shout out to Rosalind Chantez and her 1860 musket holding up. <laughs> right, bro, bro, she rolled up oh, with the sawed man. off. Bitch, the bitch had the motherfucking John Wilkes booth. <laughs> That thing had a side trigger. I'm like, yo! Okay. Also, big shouts too to the uh, 1990s Doritos logos on them chips. Yes! Nigga, you don't know how much I missed the white top and the blue bottom, the white top and the red <sighs> bottom. Much, that. You know how much you... you know, can you imagine how cool it would be for like, for one month Doritos actually brings back that old logo? They did that before. They actually have. Yeah. They actually have. Now, and here's the funny thing about that. The Doritos logo, I remember during that time, the Doritos logo itself changed up a little bit. They didn't change the bags until like a year or two later after that. And I have to be real. When they changed the bag, good, 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 good. It was time to change that shit up. But there's something about looking at old nostalgic shit that you forget about. You know what I mean? And you see it again. It's just great. It's just great when you see that shit, man. Yeah. I mean, it took, it took us like, hold on. Let's really think about this, Harris. How it took us a while for us to go through all these older movies that we finally got to see an old Doritos bag. That took longer right. than it should have, in my opinion. That took well, way longer than it should have, man. Well, yeah, well, let's also keep in mind, dude, that this was the only movie to feature a Dorito that actually caused first blood to somebody. I was dying laughing, man. It was like, he was like, it's a glass in my cheek, glass in my cheek. And he was all taking it low, like, you know, Jamie Foxx overacting. <laughs> Jamie, but it was good, Jamie no, no, Foxx no. overacting. No, hold on. No, D. Jamie, this is Jamie Foxx overacting as soon as he, uh, like, like, as soon as the clerk, uh, you know, like, like, sat over him and was going for the, uh, like, was, was it going for the pliers to, like, to take it out? He was like, nah, man, I've seen this before. I was like, I've seen, dude, like, I've seen this happen in jail before, man. This ain't cool, man. Come on. He was like, look, man. He said, like, look, give me the pliers. He said, I'm just, like, I'm going for it. I'm going for it. Jamie Foxx overacting. Do good. <laughs> I like how you look good at white boy. Sometimes a man got it. <laughs> Good luck, good luck, my cautionary warrior. <laughs> that right there had me die. Here's the thing. All right, now I have to say this, Eris. There are funny things done in this movie. There yes. are funny lines said in this movie, and there are some practical, uh, practical, you know, a practical falling shit that actually works. Here's the problem: when it's uninspired. And there's no motive of no, no, no fucking motivation to get through any part of that. It doesn't matter what it has. It doesn't matter. Like a good example, somebody was like, um, Bag D, 
So why did well, like somebody asked me? I remember this when we did um when we did the Matrix movies. Somebody asked like why like yo man I thought the um the fights in um the third Matrix was pretty good. Why you didn't like it? I like dog. They were so inspired. They just started. I'm like why are y'all fighting again? Let's like, just get on with the fucking movie. And the same thing works for comedy. It can be funny. Mm-hmm. It can be a legit funny. But at the end of the day, like <laughs> we're still on the same thing. <laughs> mm. <laughs> Nothing moves forward. That happens, man. So yeah, yeah. comedy can be uninspired too. But, Despite um, it being funny, it just didn't go nowhere with it. But I was I was rolling a little bit too, like you know when the movie finally decides to pick up the pace, like Neil Long gets to the damn airport, and I'm like, oh, it looked like her edges got fucking sweated out. Good on you, movie fan. A little attention thank to you, detail. Thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> like, thank you for that attention to detail. There, that's awesome. <laughs> You know, and again, sometimes, like, again you know, it goes back. It goes back to her role in this movie and the fact that she was only in it for, again, a total like a total of ten minutes. Three, you know, like, two, hold on, two of those minutes she spent sleeping at the airport. Well, you know, you know, you know, we all know that Nia Long is part of the hidden uh, hidden leaf village, um, and um, she knows ninja skills of how getting out of a shitty shit. So <laughs> she just poof. Turn into a log. Turn into a log. I mean, you can see her. You can see her Naruto running down the street away from the movie. <laughs> oh, her actually. Can you imagine Nia Long doing the fucking Naruto run in heels and shit? Just like, no, no, no. See, here's the thing. Here's the thing. I know she's going to do it for any other black woman, and you know what? Good for her, but. I know that Angela Bass is going to be the first black woman to do that. And it's going to be like, ha, ha, ha. And I know all of those fucking people are going to be overhyping that shit. But it doesn't need to be her. It needs to be somebody that we are waiting to do that shit. Somebody that deserves to do that shit. Somebody that needs to be legendary for for legendary. Not somebody who's already legendary. Somebody that needs to be legendary. Oh, and I so- think you're right. It's Nia. It's Nia. No. It needs to go to legendary mode, and that will do it for her. Nah, nah. Just no but, but, see, but see, we're saying Nia, we want it, but you know who's going to end up being? Who? Oh. Tiffany Haddish. Yep. Nah, yeah, it is. Look, it's going to be funny, dude. That was a little bit funny. That's funny. It's, <laughs> it's like, it's Tiffany. That, actually, that's okay. Perfect. That's <laughs> Tiffany Haddish. That's Tiffany Haddish in a nutshell. Was it funny? Like, was it funny then? Eh, that was a little bit funny. <laughs> Speaking of which, I got to say this. Tiffany Haddish has a big ass and at the same time an unattractive ass. I don't know how that works for her, but she got it. Man, that's what, that's, she has to live with that booty. <laughs> Shout-outs shout out to the fact that they did a held-up remake. I like to nominate her and Tracy Morgan because they will actually make the fucking movie entertaining. Wow. Oh. No, no, don't do that. Don't do that. I don't need to laugh that hard. <laughs> <laughs> because you know what's gonna happen you know what's gonna happen you got this old ass motherfucking car look bitch I got the car it worked right so why are you tripping Should why are you tripping you be a <laughs> like, like hold on I got going to the, look, I got going to the store talk to this white man don't do shit <laughs> <laughs> oh my god it would be hilarious uh, hey hold on hold on here's the best part hey D were those jokes uninspired? Yes, they were. All of them. Tracy and Tiffany did what they could. The the, the, the movie, the script is just bad. <laughs> God damn it, they delivered. They were funny. They were funny. It's like, baby, sit down. Like, like, so what, I, like this. So what should I do? Then, you know, of course, Chris, we get our question again. So, so what should I do? Wait. It's going to be on Netflix soon. Just wait, dog. <laughs> just wait. <laughs> Look, I don't even know why. They, look, here's, here's Eris. I don't even know why they brought the movie theaters, man. Boom. Oh, but at one point was funny. like, and we're talking about it. Everybody, I think I should see this movie. Don't waste your money, man. It ain't that. Just, just, just watch the last OG season four. Jesus Christ. <laughs> you think you're going to get the full season? Oh hell yeah, of course it is. I got a solid three. I got a solid three. I think that's all they can do. And yeah. I'm not saying that as in like, oh man, it's going to get canceled. It's like, no, I think three will be enough. Yeah. <laughs> Now, what, what has he rolling is just like the whole time. Jerry's Barry Corbin's that. mustache. Barry yes. Corbin's mustache. Yeah, that that and was a, that was a stash. That was a stash. I, also like was to, a stash. I, I like to nominate him to be uh, Buford T. Justice in the Smoking and the Bandit remake. Just saying. Oh man, 
Why? Why we want to see? Look, look, Chris. You can watch Smokey in the Band uh, that, that 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 remake all you want because I will not accept <laughs> Channing Tatum. <laughs> Yo, I, mean, I, I have to watch it as as him as a bandit. It's either him, well, or, since, either him as the well, bandit or him as the trucker. One of the Hold two. On, since, Take your pick. Since we're talking about characters, since we're talking about people from this movie being nominated for remakes of other movies, I would like to I would like to nominate Eduardo Yanis. As many for the Scarface remake. Yes. There you go. <laughs> Here's the funny thing, though. No bullshit. I need to actually. I need to put it out there, just to give her a little bit of respect. Um, Sarah Paulson was kind of cute to me in this movie. Dude, first of all, huh, you know it's, no, fr- no, no. See, first of all, you know it's bad. Well, I wouldn't say it's bad, but you know it's a thing when, when the character who this scene. Would have really benefited off of. No, I'm not talking, <laughs> about, Nia. <laughs> no, I'm not talking about Nia Long because she already had hers sitting on that haystack on the back of that truck. I'm talking about Rosa Sanchez. They would have given that to her. Mm. Look, I ain't gonna lie. She was the only reason why I watched Boat Trip. There you go. If we're mentioning Boat Trip, can I say the best line in the whole movie of Boat Trip? Mm-hmm. When Vivica, when Vivica showed up and they were on the um on the boat partying, cocksucker! <laughs> her yelling cocksucker at the top of her lungs was hilarious. Woo. And, then, and then Cooper Goon Jr. turned around. Oh shit! Hey baby, <laughs> didn't see you there. It's crazy. <laughs> I, I will now. I will say going back to Sarah Paulson. Yes, that scene of her in that little kiddie pool. With them, like with them four full, with them four bottles of Evian water just to cool herself off. I'm like, and there goes the objectification. Right <laughs> hey, Miss Paulson, yeah, you're going to do a bunch of nothing, but in 2000 and 2008, your career is about to flip. So I'm just telling you, wait a little bit. Wait a little bit. <laughs> this scene will be a- worth. Oh, Hold on, this scene will be worth it. No, you gotta really think about it. Like there, in some people's cases, like we when we talked like last week when we talked about Matthew Modine, where he got a bunch of nothing and just stayed around, which was a good thing. Sarah, when she started out, started out because she got bit roles here and there. Mm-hmm. She got lucky around the two thousand. She actually got on a couple of television shows, but those television shows either lasted one or two seasons. Didn't last too long anyway. So she lucked out in that type of sense. She didn't become a star until American Horror Story. Which threw her over, and then the uh, the People versus O.J. Simpson Ooh. tossed her over, and yeah. now and now she's up. Now she's like you know looked upon as an actress that hey and we can is, get her. She is literally she's grown into a really good actress. She, she's a real actress. I mean, she's a literal face of the like you said the American Horror Story franchise and stuff. I mean, like that's and, uh, and, that's her thing. And, Shout out to her for being on the episode of Family Guy where she's just talking about how great she is. And finally, Brian goes, oh, you know what, Sarah? Nobody cares. Nobody cares what you did, okay? <laughs> also, also, she, you know what? She was great in Ocean's 18. Ocean's 8. I love her in that in that movie. So, yeah. I still have to watch Ocean's 8. And uh, my wife, my, I thought my wife, who was like super critical of anybody touching movies that she loves, but she loves the Ocean's movies. So I'm thinking like she's gonna watch Ocean's Eight and hate it. She fucking absolutely loved it. So I gotta watch the shit. Yeah, anyway, I mean, right? so so I don't see. So see, I understand why you was like she had that cuteness to her. So like, yeah, yeah, she did. She, oh yeah, she was cuteness. She was cute. You know, you can tell this was her. She was only 25 in this. You going? But, but you can tell. But to take a quote from uh, one of the rappers, yeah, you cute, but don't let that shit go to your head. Oh yeah, she clearly, because, she clearly didn't because uh, she has been in, she's been in a relationship with a much older woman since 2015. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know, I didn't. Know she she, was she yeah. committed to it, unlike Ellen. <laughs> I didn't look. look I didn't look. <laughs> First of all, you ain't shit. Second of all, we all know that Ellen's a fuck girl. Um, number two. <laughs> Look, look, I'm sorry. Look, look, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Anybody gay listening to this? I don't know the proper pr- um, pronoun for a girl who's a fuck boy. So whatever. I say slut personally, but oh, I can't say slut. Whatever. Anyway. 
Nah, I meant to say, see, I didn't mean to say Ellen. I was saying she committed better than Anne Hache. Anne Hache was like, I want to be gay. Oh, Anne you know what? I don't oh. want to be gay anymore. I'm good. I fucked Harrison Anne Ford. H- no. I'm good. <laughs> Anne Hache was like this. Anne Hache was like, I like both, really. But if you put a gun to my head. <laughs> no, see, 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 what, what fucked Anne Hache up is she did a movie with Harrison Ford, and Harrison Ford was like, hey, 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 have you rode dick before? All right, come on. That's terrible, Chris. He did not stay at. He said this. Well, young lady, we did a good movie together. It was all great. I just want to give you one story. And I want to know, are you willing to follow suit of said story? Yeah. Do you like um, Indiana Jones? Oh, I love Indiana Jones. Okay. So Karen Allen, we and her was on set one day, right? <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Oh, look, look, long story short, I whipped it out. Karen hopped on it. Are you going to do it? <laughs> first, first of all, you, you, you did a pretty decent dare support, but you got a mumble like. Uh, 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 no, no, you uh, got to remember. This is, hold on. That movie that they did, six, by the way, nights was terrible. Was six, eight, seven, yeah, six, eight, seven nights. Yeah, six, eight, seven nights. Six, eight, seven nights. That movie was terrible, by the way. But this is before uh, uh, Harrison Ford, okay? This is yeah, before true, that. True, Harrison true. didn't get that way until 2005, right? Harrison didn't get that way until... Him and uh, him and um, fucking um, Josh Hartnick did that movie together. Oh, Hollywood and, was it? Hollywood, whatever, murder. Yeah, yeah, it was Hollywood homicide. I don't know, but yeah, yeah, he didn't get that way until they did that movie. And Harrison Ford just kept smoking weed. <laughs> it's just like, what's the fuck the point in there? What? What? What's the point of acting? <laughs> That's all. I was like, I just remember Six Days Seven Nights was like. Oh shit! Oh, was- and, no, but it was like the, the the shit surrounding the movie between her and Harrison Ford. It was like so. Anne Hayes likes dick now. Okay. Hey, what you gonna do, man? <laughs> sometimes, hey man, look. Sometimes the head be calling. Sometimes the lips I, be hey, calling. I remember when that dro- when that story when that story dropped. I was laughing because I was like, so Harrison Ford turned her. Interesting. Interesting. I don't just turn. So here's the thing. Here's the thing about people who are bisexual and don't am- want to admit they're bisexual. It doesn't take much to flip them. Huh. Interesting. No, real talk. A lot of people who want to identify as like, oh, I'm gay. Like, dude, you had sex with girls. So you're bi. No, I don't. No, 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 no. It don't take much to flip you. Stop so trying I, to have your I, you cake. Know, like, look, stop trying to have your cake and eat it, too. Either you pick one or you pick both, man. But I don't want to pick both. Then you got to pick one. Exactly. <laughs> and look, and this, look, and I know what somebody's yelling at the top of the lawns. They're fluid. No, they're bi. They just don't want to make a choice. <laughs> you want to throw a motherfucking label out there. There's a label for you, nigga. Pick yeah. a side, nigga. <laughs> hey, but that's, but that's, like I said, Sarah Paulson, she's well, like, hey. Hey, hey, Chris. Hey, Chris. Pick a side, motherfucker. I got. We got to figure out which bathroom you go into. <laughs> See, that's wrong. Right there. It's the South, nigga. We don't. This is South. You got a dick. You better go into the dick bathroom. The dick bathroom. <laughs> See, see, I'm one of those people. I'm one of those people. <laughs> see, I'm one of those people looking at all the all the people that was really being all transphobic about oh, like. God. So, hey guys, instead of bitching about it, how about you just tell them to use the family bathroom? Win win. No, don't tell no, no, no. Every, don't tell, CJ, because not every place in America has a quote unquote family bathroom. That's my optimistic hey, coming in there. Real talk, Harris. No, no. Actually, an even bigger concern about that. Just real talk, and this is coming from a man. Look at both ways. People fuck in the family bathroom <laughs> more than any of them. <laughs> okay, fair enough on that. You're not going to say nothing when a guy walks in. You're not going to say nothing when a woman walks in. So. People fucking just all the time. <laughs> Yo. All right, look, 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 look. <laughs> Point is this. Point is this, though, Chris. Point is this, though, Chris. I think Bill Maher said it the best way. Hey, check it out, people. If you look like a man, go in the men's bathroom. If you look like a woman, go in the woman's bathroom. If you're a fat, bearded guy in a dress, dude, wait till you get home. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking like, of which, like, so if Hilda was, yeah, can, can we get back to my but, horrible but, but, movie, but, 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 please? No. But here's the thing: if Hilda was made today, um, Jamie Foxx's character would have got gunned down, and then we would got a message about Black Lives Matter. And then <laughs> there, now, there, that there was like, four, yo, actually, they shot at him and the Spanish nigga like five times. I'm like, bruh, there'll be so much. There will be so many fucking 
There will be at least three blogs on the route about this bullshit. <laughs> like, hold nigga. On. Hold on. Let's get something straight. See, the fact that him, the fact that him and, uh, God, what's his name? Yeah, uh, Rodrigo. The fact that him and Rodrigo, uh, like, Rodrigo was, <laughs> was shot at about four or five times in the movie. I'm like, huh. You know, this isn't too far off from today. Yeah, it really isn't. Really is a black man, the Spanish guy coming out, come out of the store together. <laughs> they're up to no good, and they're about to rape white women. Kill them. And <laughs> what makes it even worse, and what also makes it even worse is when they tried to do the whole three-person thing, uh, like, Rodri- <laughs> Roger- like Rodrigo has Jamie Foxx and, and Sarah Paulson walking them out at the same time. I'm like, so how did you think this was going to go? You're exactly. A, you're a Spanish, like you're span, like you're a Spanish gentleman. You are holding a six shooter. You got it to the head of a black man who they have stupidly mistaken as Mike Tyson for some reason. But then again, you know what? The whole this must be this must be this one really, really, really small town somewhere in the southwest where if you're even a hint dark, you look like a famous person that they know of only from TV. I look, the second, look, you know what I got? The second that little white kid said, are you Puff Daddy? You I know for a fact, the, look, I know for a fact the director was over there like this. <laughs> God, that's funny. <laughs> You know, <laughs> what, what I really laughed at was what, what I really laughed at was the fact that this kid asked Jamie if he was Puff Daddy, and the fact that he, the fact that Jamie didn't have to do no puffy acting whatsoever. I like he could at least gave me a take that take that he didn't. He could have gave I was me a take, take that. that. He could have gave me a take that. He could have given me a dance. He could have said, "We don't stop." Oh. You know, he did nothing. Oh, yeah, stop. won't stop. <laughs> Um, and, and then no, see, but then when he gets confu- when he gets confused as Mike Tyson, oh, uh, he, he of course he did the Tyson bit. He did his Tyson bit. I didn't hear the Tyson bit actually. I he, must did for, he did it for two seconds. The moment, oh the moment, yeah, the moment Corbin oh, said, "Hold up, you that famous boxer?" and he was like, he was like, he was like, "No, nah, man, that's Mike Tyson. My name is Mike Dawson." He said, "Really? Could I mean, you kind of look like him?" And then that's when he did his Tyson bit for like two seconds, and then, you know, then it went back. I mean, Jamie, yeah, that Jamie, had been, I guess, Jamie had a special bond with that little white kid. <laughs> for like two seconds, did a white kid realize he was a bitch? But then and again, then he, and then he came, then he redeemed himself and came back. Oh, fuck! I took a Dorito to the damn cheek and shit, and I'm like, he did. But hey, he redeemed himself when he was asking for money. He was like, we ain't got no money. Town's broke. <laughs> really, really? No. My, man pull, my man pulled out a fifty, dropped it on the ground. He's like, "Hey, it's a start, all right? It's a start." And everybody started everybody. dropping in money. So we're gonna talk about the fact that uh, Jamie just let somebody just keep a fifteen thousand dollar car. It broke down. I'm just saying. He flew over. If he I pay oh, fifteen thousand for a fucking car, I'm. I mean, I'm hey, just look, saying. Man. Look, he was trying to get hey, his woman Chris. back. Hey, Chris. He learned it don't life. take much. It don't take much to rent a U-Haul trailer. <laughs> you already know the rest of this shit. It really doesn't take much, but come on. First of all, he had to fly with, uh, let's be real, he was flying with another Spanish cutie who flew him to the airport, and he was running through it. Oh, my God. The fact that this movie was made two years before 9-11 and seeing the stuff he was doing at the airport is Nigga. just hilarious. They fucking Man. held up a goddamn plane at the end of the movie before Jamie Foxx gives the ugly laugh. Yeah. Thank you. All right, all right, Chris. Chris, look at me. Here's a head to a gun to my file. Take it. You earned it. <laughs> Thank you for that. Ugly laugh. Thank I you. mean, it was like the ugly laugh at the end of a sitcom, like, din, 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 <laughs> and then credits. Like Hell freeze no! Frame. Freeze <laughs> hold on, freeze frame from fade to black roll credits. Because <laughs> cause not only dude, it's the same two people. Freaking Rosa Sanchez and the other dude robbed the place. I mean they were trying to hijack the plane. I'm like, are y'all really trying to hijack a plane before it takes off? Oh my god. And, oh. and they were like, wait, Michael? Hey, how's it going? I'm like, all of y'all going to jail. Uh, yeah, you're all, I'm uh, like, yeah. you're all going to jail. 
again, Carreras, the director. Ha! 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 Fucking right, that's funny. <laughs> Nia Law looking at her with the Kevin Nash disapproving stare, like, fuck this shit. I'm getting out of here. God damn it. I can't see none of these niggas no more, right? <laughs> I ain't got to see none. All right, uh, one thing I do, I do have to say, shout out to Mr. John Cullum. He was the store clerk or owner. He was the owner of the store. You have seen John Cullum in, like, everything. So he's just one of those character actors. You probably didn't know his name. There you go, John Cullum. He is still alive, by the way. Yeah, I was going to say, he's still alive. <laughs> Neil Long was like, fuck this shit. I'm going to Boiler Room. Kiss my ass. I'm out. Well, he was in this movie, and nobody noticed. <laughs> Hold on, what did I say? What again? Ryan Felipe was in this movie and nobody fucking so noticed. Blink in your miss, Ryan Felipe. What are you talking oh, about, man? Oh, Ryan, see, here's the thing. That's, I feel so bad for Ryan because I really do mean that. I really feel that Ryan had a chance to be a much bigger star, even though the show Sniper is very fucking good. I feel like he could have been something Mark way Wahlberg, bigger. Mark that. Wahlberg has the career Ryan Felipe wanted. To. <laughs> no, yeah. hey, look, look. Mark Wahlberg may have took all the big stuff from him, but do you know who really stabbed him in the heart when it came to that shit? Fucking Justin Timberlake fucking took see, I was gonna maybe say, so I was gonna say, roles from him. See, I was going to say Freddie Prince Jr., like his friend backstabbed him. And like, I take all your no, money, bitch. No, Freddie Prince Jr. didn't do that much either. No, Freddie Prince Jr. did the stupid thing and roped himself into a WB franchise that he can't get out of. <laughs> and that's... And that's fucking and that's fucking all Scooby Doo. He fucked them all stuff up doing that shit. Can I also <laughs> lie? I got that wrong. I, and I got that wrong. It was a sniper, a shooter, and I, I think they're done with shooter. Yeah, yeah, it's actually a good show. I ain't gonna lie, shooter's actually. It is a good show. It is a really good show. Him and Omar Epps are really good in that jump, man. Ad. Yes. So you know the little kid that's uh, that asked him, "Hey, are you Puff Daddy?" Oh boy. Oh <laughs> yeah. boy. Oh boy. That is the voice of Sid from Hey Arnold. Get the fuck out of here. What? Yep, yep that's him. Yep, there you go. Uh, then at least at least it wasn't a dog or something. So hey, No, was. no, it was him from Hey Arnold and what, what really makes me laugh is dude, after it was in two thousand four, after Hey Arnold was done, he was done. I mean hey, look, I hey look, he, he's one of the look. I always say the best when it comes to being a child actor, whether you do acting, going into voiceovers and stuff, you kind of have to find something else and stuff or at least evolve yourself or get into other things because eventually it's just like, well, I guess I'm done with this acting thing. I'm out. I mean, dude, he also played, was it Jared Smith and the first kid and Gordy and, and Billy from Recess? That's what I'm saying. It's like these early, late 90s, early 2000 roles and it's just like shit just evolved and it's just like, whoop. You're kind of done, sir. I mean, he could have kept doing voice roles. He could have, but could've. I get it. I mean, guy's been doing, you know, he was active from 92 all the way to 2004, and he's our age. You, you want to talk about, We, we I think we've we talked about bad movies this month. This movie opened the same weekend as one Battlefield Earth. And, good God, both of them tanked pretty hard. This movie's this budget tanked was... Harder. A, this movie it, tanked hard. Well, no, no, see, see, this movie... It's set up to tank hard was it, it's modest compared to Battlefield Earth oh, because it's, it's a the budget movie so they only lost yeah because the budget off for, of it. yeah the budget to this movie was only eight million and it only made four at the box office which I still got a question again how did this movie get released in October of 1999 in Memphis Tennessee but the rest of the world didn't even see it how is it nobody even talked about this movie nobody gives a fuck then. about black people in Memphis Tennessee the same. Which is why, which begs the question, why hey, would you hey, Chris, hey, Chris. Hey, Chris, you see what you said? You know motherfucking um, Prime is going to say, uh, hold on, sir. Uh, the black community in Memphis is pretty good. Also, yeah, white people don't like us. <laughs> exactly. It's like, despite 3-6 Mafia and them, of course, it don't matter. It's, it's, no. <laughs> Despite despite three Justin, six mafia, young Dolph, and half and half of Justin Timberlake library. <laughs> which I still got which just still makes me wonder, like if this movie did get released like early in some locations, how come this movie didn't get released like early somewhere in the southwest, considering it took place out there? Well you said it came out a year before, so you're talking about May of nineteen ninety nine, right? No, no, no. It came out on October 8th of 1999, and then it got released in the rest of the world on May 12th of 2000. That makes no sense to me, though. 
Like, I don't understand why. Why was that even a fucking thing, man? I, why mean, would... I don't know. You know, here's the thing. I'm looking at the. I'm looking at movies that came out that same time that you say October eighth, nineteen ninety nine, right? Yeah. Only in Tennessee. Here's the weird part. If it did officially come out that weekend, it would have got fucking killed anyway. Because take a look at the movies that came out around that time. Uh, mm-hmm. Assy Judge, Double Jeopardy. Yeah, mm-hmm. man, it's made money. Mm-hmm. Three Kings. Mm-hmm. Oh. Yeah. American Beauty. Oh. Six Cents. Oh God. Ah, yeah, it would have got murdered. Blue Streak. Oh. Ah, yeah, it's Blue Streak. Yeah, way better. it's Blue Streak. Blue uh, Street. and, and uh, for the love of the game. Yikes. And then yeah. the last one was the SNL movie Superstar. Yeah, this movie didn't have a chance. So even if it came out that weekend, it would have got buried badly. And then Star Wars, Phantom Menace was still kind of still in theaters around that time too, so yeah. So when it officially came out, these this was in in movie theaters. Gladiator, Road Trip, ironic, Mission Impossible 2, U571, um, Frequency, Battlefield Earth, <laughs> oh my god, really? The Flintstones the leave a lot Flint- of Vegas. <laughs> I made more money. Made way- wow. I'm going to be loving real basketball. Mm-hmm. Uh, I'm going to be real deep. Loving basketball. Mm-hmm. Loving basketball. Rules of Engagement and Aaron Brockovich. All of those movies were out when Held Up came out in this first week. That is terrible, man. I mean, Flintstones is a name, so of course it's going to make money <laughs> for some reason it's, it's you know it's weird to me you know i know this is a tangent here but it's for some reason it's like those hannah barbera movies it's like they have a name and they, they get people in the in the seats but flintstones was just one of those but like they, what was that like who asked for a fucking flintstone sequel why you know it, i stand by what i said with you and i mean that i think the the first Scooby Doo movie was funny, but here's the thing: it ended so stupid. And then after that, it was like, so y'all just making sequels until somebody tell y'all to stop, huh? Yeah, yeah Scooby Doo too. Actually, Scooby Doo the beginning with the with the gang when they were kids. And it's like actually, D, that AD to answer that question for you, it expectedly ended stupid. It's <laughs> it ended the way a fucking Scooby Doo show ends stupidly. Like, all right, cool, whatever. You know, finally. you know, here's the point that I, you know, Scooby Doo falls in that same category with um, Speed Racer, where it's like, well, that's what Speed Racer and Dead or Alive falls in the same place, where it's like, well, that was bad. Have you seen what they given out before? But here's my thing too. Have, I even put have Yogi. You I, seen put, it? I even put Yogi Bear in that category. It's like, hey guys, what the fuck do no. you expect out of Yogi All Bear? Right, no, 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 no. I seen Yogi Bear. I finally finally watched that shit. Oh my god, no. No, I don't get how people say terrible. it's bad. It's fucking Yogi Bear. Like, what you expect? That movie's terrible. It's not funny at all. And yeah, Yogi ain't that funny. But the point is this: <laughs> there is doing no. To see Chris now, this is where it splits off at. Mm-hmm. There is this thing where it is trying to copy it, and it does a good job of it. Like, it wasn't that funny. Well, the TV show wasn't that funny, or it does it does way too good of a job, and it, it fucking falls in his face. Rocky and Bullwinkle movies, that case, where there was a lot of puns, there were a lot of slick, dumb, fourth wall breaking jokes that didn't fucking work. Mm-hmm. Like, oh man, it's just like Rocky and Bullwinkle. Here's me. And it's fucking terrible. So, guess what? I will That's say, terrible too. I will say the best thing that came out the Yogi Bear thing was the aspect of that little shit that's on video on YouTube about Yogi Bear where Boo Boo had to put a gun to Yogi and kill him. What was that yeah. about? I don't oh, know. Man. That shit had me fucking DJI dying. Artist had enough time to sit down. <laughs> <laughs> that shit had me in tears. I was like, because first off. Or they take a page out of the 70s and give us the Jetsons meet the Flintstones. Or they just said, fuck it and or, just give us our goddamn Johnny Quest movie. How about that? Or, they, or they gave us a, first of all, they gave us a Johnny Quest movie. Just don't make it ridiculous like Indiana Jones and Crystal Skull. Or, you know, just be real. You can just follow what D says and you'll be all right with this. <clears throat> Do some goddamn original, you know, something. You know, I didn't ask for much, you know. Hey, you know, hey, something you that doesn't have you, you, you want something different? Get JDM as Race Bannon. Boom. 
I'm in there for Johnny Quest. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh. I'm sorry, did you say JDF? No, JDM, Jeffrey D. Morgan. So what are you talking about? Oh, my God. Why the, oh, fuck, don't why, do why that. the fuck would I want oh Tommy as fucking race band and kiss? I like Jay-Z. I like Tommy, too, but no. Hell no. No, 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 Chris. You know that. No, hold on, Chris. You know that. You know that will be a fucking dream of yours. Hey, Johnny, let's go. See <laughs> See? See? Like, yo, why is this? Like, why is Jason David Frank kicked in Dr. Zen in the face? This is weird. Here's me. Here's me. I don't know, but... Bannon got an ass on him. What? What? <laughs> I mean, you know, but yeah, yeah. I right, we, we we're off tangent, but whatever. Um, yeah, that was hell. No, uh, no, I think we're I think we're kind of. <laughs> oh my god, I think we're actually done. All, all I'm saying is this: if we ever meet Nia Long, I'm just gonna ask her. So Nia, held up too. What's up with that? As she punches me in the face and walks off, <laughs> the, 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 walks off the interview. <laughs> So, um, so everybody, we had a we had a pretty fun time talking about bad movies this month. Um, September will be a little bit brighter. Um, I can only give you a glimpse of what we're planning on doing. You know, shit falls through, and sometimes shit actually works out. So, um, one of them we're going to do babies, kids, and I cannot wait because that's pretty much Eris constantly doing pee wee jokes. You know, yeah, baby, you know what? Get down. <laughs> And then, you know, and, shit like that. And then me singing the praises of Vanessa Bell Calloway being, like, pretty great, and that's about it. Great, she was barely in the movie. <laughs> 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 like, Chris, Chris, that's why. Come and, on, man. Right my baby, and, and, what? And, and also the mama jokes. That's about it. That's about it. That's about it. Uh, um... Uh, next month, we also plan to have one of our favorite people. We just talked, we just mentioned him in the city of Memphis. Um, we're going to have a boy prom Gundam. We're going to talk about Gundam F91. And Chris, <laughs> what I remember of F91, because I've seen it once, F91 is a Gundam movie or is it an OVA? I'm not really sure. Is it an OVA it is, or is it a- It is an actual movie that Tomino really. He he tried to do something with it and it did not turn out the way it should have turned out. <laughs> but this is what the feeling I'm getting, and I'm probably wrong, and I'm going to ask Prime the same question. This movie comes off like the first Star Trek movie, where trackies love it and everybody else is like, whatever. It's like get to the fucking action movie. God damn. <laughs> Way about gun- I feel that same way about F91 where there's a lot of pretty shit but it's like every time they start speaking dialogue you can tell that they jammed in so much dialogue that was so unnecessary but it was supposed to be a series but they made it a movie me, so me, you can me. tell they, they, they jammed all that information you're just in. sitting there like yo where's the new types can I get some fucking new types this is bullshit <laughs> it's like- uh, so next month we plan to take our shirts off, oil ourselves up, and die in hell. We're finally doing three hundred. Yeah, gotta get my six pack on on this one. Uh, uh, nobody. Nothing. Cool. <laughs> no. Oh, 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 we get to see no. the, the exquisite acting of Gerard Butler talking out the side of his mouth. No, I get to hear Eric do the um do the one black guy that shows up for two seconds. You see his. <laughs> Eyes, and then he doesn't show up for the rest of the movie. Eris does that line impeccably. <laughs> oh, you're talking about the... Oh, I know which one you're talking about. You're talking about the guy who... Uh, <laughs> I'll go ahead and I'll go ahead and give him the sneak peek. Yes. And when Sparta burns, you shall bathe in gold. <laughs> I'm not gonna... I'll, get, I'll deliver the rest of that line when we do the movie. And 300, a 300 a movie where and when your wife nods at you for approval, you do exactly what she says. <laughs> that this nod is of also approval, one, that nod of this approval is, said everything. This is actually one of those movies where I, I, I'm not, it's weird. I don't have a crush on her. I just like what she does. I have a bit of a thing for Lena um, uh, Hetley. So, uh, same here. See, yeah, so see, while you, see, was, uh, CD, while you won't admit it, <laughs> I do. I have a Oh, no, no, no. Only reason I won't admit it is for one main reason. Chris knows why. As fine as she is, she fucked the brother in Game of Thrones, and I, that throws a lot off. <laughs> but she was, uh, 
to be to be to her credit though um was a turn on and and and, and dread a little bit even though she was psycho in that movie yeah, a um, little bit. I can't give. It. We gotta do dread one day. And finally, and finally dude, for the and, wait, September. wait, and wait, and I'm gonna go ahead and throw that out there, please, because it's you know this it's it's my boo. She was Sarah Connor. Oh yeah, she was Sarah Connor. Mm-hmm. She was. Her. See, Lena, Lena did a lot of shit, man. She did a lot of mm-hmm. different roles. She's not a you know. I will give it that. But anyway, um, but uh, I'm not sure how we're gonna schedule it. But I'm gonna make sure we schedule this in the falls either on or around his birthday. This is for Sue, everybody. His birthday special is not going to be on BAM this year. It's going to be for the Three Black Geeks show, and it will be one of his favorite movies, Escape from New York. Yes. With good old Isaac Hayes. A Carpenter classic. A Carpenter classic, man. Don't worry. We're going to talk, we're going to talk about um, just a just a preview for everybody. Our Halloween special is going to be a John Carpenter movie too, and that is actually my favorite horror movie of all time, The Thing. That a- is my aka I love that. aka the movie that inspired me to believe that the black man can survive a horror movie. Yes, the movie that the movie that taught me this. I don't care how scary shit gets, D. Nothing is scarier. The 1981 practical effects. Ooh. Well, I don't know 1981. I'm not really sure. What I forgot what year it came out. But yeah, there's nothing scarier than 80s practical effects done right. So I just had to throw out there. Oh, don't don't worry. Y'all probably like that's your Halloween spirit special. What about the rest of the month? Don't worry. We'll get to that when we get to the end of December because October's gonna be slapping when it comes to the mm-hmm. comes to the uh, to, uh, Halloween month. Trust me, it really will. But anyway. Um, that is it. Um, we had a good August. We're back. Uh, like, yeah, yeah. It feels like we're back again, <laughs> doing it, going back on our usual schedule. So, uh, as always, go on our website. All that good shit. Uh, peace. We done. We done.